Welcome to Digital Asset News. My name is Rob, and there's some pretty big things going on with Polygon, and there's a reason why the price has been really just on a tear for the last week, and really comes down to three reasons. It comes down to a mainnet launch with ZK rollups, partnerships, and artificial intelligence. What I'm talking about is there was a story just a little bit ago last week on Friday. This is Polygon soars 8% ahead of ZK EVM network update. And since this was Friday, things are moving so fast in crypto right now. Uh, you can just see that in the top 10. The big winner so far is Polygon. They're up 12% for the week. And that beats out everybody. That beats out uh, Dogecoin, Ethereum, definitely Ethereum, Bitcoin, everybody, for just for the last week. Of course, we are cherry picking that data, but it is true. 12% over the last week. And uh, this is one of the reasons. And what this came down to, there was uh, a tweet from Sandeep. He's the founder of uh, Polygon. He said, look, just came out of a high-level mainnet launch committee. Can't keep, fom can't keep calm, folks. We got a date for mainnet launch, and it's soon. And what this all comes down to is ZK proofs. A zero-knowledge proof, if you don't know, is a way of proving the truth of a statement without sharing the statement's contents or revealing how this truth was discovered, which is interesting, but I think there's an easier way to say it. And thankfully, on one of Polygon's blog posts, it said it very simply. Polygon ZK EVM, which stands for Zero Knowledge Ethereum Virtual Machine, leverages the power of zero knowledge proofs to reduce transaction costs and greatly increase throughput, transactions per second all while inheriting the security of Ethereum. The ZK Proof Tech works by batching transactions into groups, which are then related to the Ethereum network as a single bulk transaction. The gas fee for the single transaction is then split between all the participants involved, dramatically lowering fees. Now that's the real sharing economy. And it got me thinking, I was like, well, I mean, is it that expensive for Polygon? Because as far as I remember, it's pretty darn cheap. And this is from Polygon Scan. Uh, proof is proof of stake uh, chain average gas price chart, and it's all in way, way. And you can just see that the average, and it'll, it'll go from the minimum gas price to the max, which is ridiculously high. But just take a look at uh, the average here. So, October 27th, the average gas was 196 way, and then average gas price in one of the one of the, the big days was 351, and now we're hovering around you know 115. So you're probably asking yourself, well, what does that translate to dollars? Great question. And the answer is not much. And you can just see here, going to dollars, I mean, even at, even at 250, it's fractions and fractions of a penny. So when we, we take a look at these stories about the things that are going on with Polygon and, and ZK rollups and, and the great things they're doing, I mean, if you can reduce it even more so and make the TPS or the throughput even faster, well, so much the better. So that's the first part of why the uh, price is uh, having some upward action. Here's the next one. I found this highly entertaining. Polygon has a new AI project. Will it rival ChatGPT? If you haven't used ChatGPT yet, it's awesome. Uh, I'll, have, I'll put a link in the description below. You can ask it any question and it just pretty much spits out the answer. Not that it's always correct, but uh, more often than not, it's pretty good. So this is the key points here. Polygon is using a new AI tech called Character GPT to generate intelligent avatars that will become NFTs on its blockchain. The crypto is already partnered with a number of high profile brands. Again, that is the second part, profile brands, partnerships, AI. That could leverage this AI tech for NFT projects. And now it's really all coming together. And when I read this, just think to yourself, would you have thought about this six months or a year ago when we were talking about crypto and digital assets, especially when we get to the whole Disney aspect on this one? You probably didn't. And I didn't see it either, but it was the same thing on the internet. No one could really see the things that were going on. We talked about this. There are things that are going to happen. We have no amount of idea of where things are progressing. It's just that we're going in the right direction. So what we're talking about here is what Polygon has in mind is the launch of AI-powered avatars using a new tech called Character GPT. Once these avatars, avatars have been created, they can be transformed into NFTs that live on the Polygon blockchain. You type in a text prompt for what kind of avatar you want to interact with online, and the AI system will create an avatar for you on the fly. Here's a, here's a scenario. You could type in an old man as a grizzled prospector who wants to retire. Or for me, I would just write in like... Uh, a, uh, a machine or a bot in the same vein 
as what Tony Stark had with his artificial intelligence Jarvis. I think that for me would be pretty cool. The AI immediately creates a digital representation of a man from the 1850s dressed in a Western gear for this example. And this avatar would then be able to answer your questions from the perspective of a California prospector looking to retire. So just think about that. Wouldn't that be interesting if you could say, give me the perspective of, I don't know, a financial advisor from BlackRock about what he would uh, expect to do with crypto and digital assets. That's my avatar. I'd love, to, I'd love to see that myself. So then moving on, the tech could completely reshape the NFT market. Phase one for NFTs was digital art, which I thought was kind of goofy, but whatever. Phase two was the rise of the utility NFT. I thought this was better, which buyers received some added value from the NFT, such as entry to an online VIP club. And then phase three could be the introduction of the AI-powered avatar, the ability of this intelligent avatar to answer any question from any source from a particular perspective. And I think that's going to be pretty interesting moving forward, but it gets better. So Polygon is interesting because the crypto is already partnered with Starbucks, Nike, and also with Walt Disney. And then this is what the article says. It's pretty good. Imagine what Disney could do with this type of AI tech, the types of immersive experience it could create for families, the new digital experiences it could create for people around the world. Imagine if your you know, daughter wants to talk to the Little Mermaid or you know, if your son wants to talk to uh, like a, a main character as far as uh, Mickey Mouse or uh, one of the lions in uh, one, of the, one of those movies I forget right now. But I mean, you can do whatever you want to and you can create anything. And that I think is where things really get crazy. But it's interesting because now you're going to leverage real utility on the blockchain, which is Polygon. And the company behind Character GPT, Aletheia AI, has the backing of Mark Cuban. And Mark Cuban is also invested in the Polygon. So again, and, and just as a side note, Mark was always har harping on the fact that crypto will explode if you have a real use case utility of an app. And I think that is one of those trends that we're seeing. And then before we, we move on to the last piece, I will just say that uh, for me, like for using uh, AI and stuff like that, like there is a great app. Let me just, let me just pull up, I'm gonna pull up uh, the app on my phone and I see what we're talking about. All right, so on my phone, I'm gonna pull this up. There's this app called Genie on the lower left-hand corner. What this does, this uses chat GPT and you can ask it, ask it any question and it'll pretty much gets back to you. So like for me, when I see this as like, if you have an avatar, whatever you want to create, again, this is a little bit different, but you can just start talking to this thing and ask it any question that, that you want to. And what's great about this is you don't have to poke around for all the different websites and, and hunt through a bunch of things. It's just a time saver and it really can do good things. Like you can answer any question like there's it like this. So I'll here, here I'll, I'll tap on the little uh, microphone icon. What's the best way to take profits in a dollar cost average investing scenario. So then voila, there it goes. Best way to take profits in dollar cost average is use a percentage-based trailing stop loss order. The strategy allows you to gradually sell off portions of your portfolio as it begins to increase in value while protecting yourself from big loss in the event of an unforeseen market drop. Very smart. This strategy can be adjusted as needed and is an ideal way to take profits over time. Then you can just go even further and go, what kind of percentages should I take profits and at what point? Question mark. And there it goes. When taking profits from percentage-based trailing stop loss order, it's recommended to take profits between two to 5%. And it goes up with some other stuff. So I will link uh, this app in the description below. It's uh, very simple. Uh, it's just called uh, Genie. And uh, it, there's no affiliation, no partnership with it, just what I use every single day when I'm asking questions. And then lastly, and this is on a biased level, I, I will say, and that is that uh, one of the reasons that I look at Polygon, it's because Polygon is making big steps and always pay attention to the projects that are building in the bear because they will crush it in the bull. And this is one of those things. Uh, Gensukishi uh, just put out a little press release that they are working directly with Polygon, not building on top of Polygon because what, that's what they've already done. But Gensukishi, as you may remember, I am invested into it. So I am very biased when I talk about these things. So be aware. Don't go running out and go, I got to get a bunch of Gensu Kishi because Rob talked about it. That's not what I'm saying here. But with Genso, they have a partnership right now and they are, they are having Polygon work within the uh, Polygon to have them build on Gensu Kishi. And it's a real partnership, not just for Gensu Kishi building on Polygon, 
but the reverse way. And this is one of my uh, DGen plays. I've got a second channel called Dan DGen. And one of the reasons why I like this, this game was because it was already on Google and App Store and Nintendo Switch and PlayStation. Then it moved over to, to Web3. I thought it was a slam dunk. And uh, all the different Dan DGen projects, uh, you can find those on the spreadsheet. There's a link in the description. And you can find the link to the video I did this. I did this video all the way back in 2000, wow, December 15, 2021, over a year ago. And uh, we got in at uh, 0.015, and then the all-time high was $1.62. And for these, for all the ones that I get invested into, you have to understand that I don't get a bunch of tokens. I have to actually purchase them, get into them. There is a cliff. I have to wait. Like even like Sweatcoin, I still haven't hit my cliff. I'm still, I'm still waiting because I got in and it, it was at least a year to wait. But you can see that again, Sukishi has so far been the best one we've done even today at the, at the price today at 19 cents. And we're still up, uh, you know, 12X. That's pretty good. Uh, but all the rest of them, like Everdome, I mean, it did pretty well, but now it's like half of that. And then Fame was my our worst one by far. And then Sweatcoin is just kind of treading water still. I think it's going to do, do pretty well. But uh, again, I think that's a primary reason for why Polygon is doing so well because it keeps building and uh, partnering up with all these different projects. So look, that is it for today. Now, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Everything we talk about is time sensitive. And right now there are so many things going on in the crypto and digital asset space. I would highly encourage you to subscribe and watch the videos, but that's it. So look, thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate you and I'll see you on the next one.